Well, good morning to you, good morning. Monday, 29th of April, 2024. Hmm. Yes, it rained in the night. Not especially hard, but it rained. But today we're promised beautiful weather. So I think this afternoon we're going to be into grass cutting. Yeah, I think that's probably probably a plan. Hmm. I'm doing washing and things like that because it's going to be dry and warm today. Well, I don't come up this road very often, so I thought I'd just turn the camera on. This is the backside of Isère sur Creuse. Now, I've just come out of the back exit to the Antier Marché. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go that way today. So, we've still got some very old traditional houses. But of course we've also got what some people might sneeringly call the new builds. Uh, it isn't all historic buildings here. There's a lot. But then there are much more modern sorts of houses. And some even in construction. That brings us effectively to the backside of Hoy Sir Clay's. With its church from the 11th century, and yeah. Hoy is a, is a lovely little town, very, very beautiful a pain to drive through it because the traffic sometimes gets a little bit oinky. But look at those beautiful flowers in the trees, beautiful big houses. the name of the town, Poi Sur Clays. Oh, hello. We'll let this one go. The, the Sur Clays part of the name of the town tells us that it sits on the River Clays and we're going to go across the bridge. So we're in a bit of a valley and up on the hill you know, we see the town, we see church, parts of which really are 11th century, of course it's been added to since then. Right, I'm going to turn you off because this little bit always needs concentration. Well everyone loves a good palette. The ones they throw away are the non-standards and the broken ones. This is clearly a non-standard one that wasn't expected to be returned. Now, I pick these up as firewood, but when I look at one like this, I think, do you know what? I might want some of that for shuttering because I've got, got a few little concreting jobs to do. So we attempt 
attempt to take it apart rather than to smash it up. I don't need firewood this week, I don't think anyway. So I'm not going to cut it small, I'm going to leave as much of it as I can, as I say, for, for shuttering concrete jobs. Yeah, five minute job pulling that one apart. Very often they don't come apart as easily as this one did. Some of the timber split, not a problem. I picked it up as firewood. But some have come out nice and intact and they, they will be put into storage round the back for when I get back into mixing some concrete on some jobs. The day I bought this, I bought this at a Vide Maison and people with me said, what on earth do you want that for? Well, I want it for pulling apart pallets and, you know, I give it to the security staff to keep my, uh, my fans away from the gate sometimes. Now I've got about 10 minutes before it is time for me to cook my lunch. So I'm going to spend 10 minutes doing some stuff. Now here. One of the things that needs doing is this track needs fixing in place. And it needs ballasting. Now... In England, I knew several shops that I could go to within easy travelling distance and I could buy scale model ballast and special scale model ballast glue and all of those sorts of things. Here in rural France, I haven't got a clue where to go and get stuff like that. So we're going to get back to some basic modelling. How do we ballast track when you can't buy scale model ballast? Hmm. I think we're going to use some sand and glue and paint. And I'm going to be using Col Universal. Universal. Hmm. Glue. Col. This is, as far as I can tell, exactly the same as what many of you will call school glue. You know, the white PVA stuff that you let infants play with and when they get it in their hair and all over their clothes it's not too much of a disaster because you can wash it out. So that's what I'm going to try using. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Normally, you water this down a bit but I've only got 10 minutes, so we're going to mess about. Right, I think that gives you the idea. You know, it's not as if I haven't got some further work to do. But I don't think you need to watch me do all of this, do you? I'm not going to do all of it because some of it I know, some of this track I know I'm going to want to lift later. So I'm going to do the bits that I know are staying where they're staying. But what I'm doing right at the moment is going to cook my dinner. Who fancies a tractor tour of the estate? Oh dear. Right, how does this thing work? We pull the choke. Go away a bit quick and we'll put it in here.
bloke who leaves lawnmowers all over the place for kicking the uh, posterior. Oh, there we are. a consensus the weather forecast is all say it's nice weather at the moment now I often make reference to the idea that I've always got something else to do yeah that all wants making pretty as well doesn't it and I've got a bit of time before bed Well that bit comes under the heading of interesting. That was a chunk of concrete and well it was just loose. So that's going to be an interesting repair. I think I know how I'm doing this. I shall make up a box And I shall drill and glue in with some resin some studs and then I shall fill that with yeah I don't know whether I shall fill it with stiff show or if I shall fill it with concrete Show is chemically better because it's more like the stone it's going to. Yeah, yeah, that that was that was, as I say, interesting. It didn't take a lot of persuading. So it's better that that's off than that it's waiting to fall off. But I think that's that's sort of me done for the day, I think. Well, not quite done. 